Okay, so let's say you're taking a quiz on area, and you get a question that says you've got a lab table, and that lab table, we want to know the area, so we're going to have to find the lab table area in square inches. And furthermore, let's say that we are given the, the surface dimensions of this lab table. Let's say that we're given those dimensions in feet. So we're going to say that from this corner to that corner, it's 5 feet. And we're going to say from this corner over to this corner, we're going to say that's 2 feet. So we can get the area in square feet pretty easily, but the question wants us to find it in square inches. So all that means is we're going to do two problems. We're going to find the area in square feet, and then we're going to convert it to square inches and we'll be done. It's not too hard at all. So uh, the long dimension we say is the length and the short dimension we say is the width and the area is length times width. So in this case it's 5 feet by times uh, 2 feet. So the area of that surface, this surface right here, the area of that surface is 10 feet squared or 10 square feet, however you want to say it. So now we have to do this business of getting into our square inches. So uh, you've already seen this, I know, but really quickly a review. If we have a square foot, this is one foot on each side, that means if it's one foot on each side, that means it's also uh, 12 inches on each side. So uh, if we look at it using uh, feet, uh, the area is one foot by one foot, so this area is one foot squared. Or if we look at it using inches, that equals uh, 12 inches by 12 inches, that's 144 inches squared. So we've already got the problem essentially done. We know that the area of the table is 10 square feet, so now we're just going to go and do a conversion problem. We're going to take our 10 square feet, and we're going to multiply that by a fraction. And just for uh, just to help you out, remember back in September, it helps if you put a little 1 under here. That way you realize, oh, okay, I've got 10 square feet, so that's my numerator. So if I want to get rid of square feet, it's on top. I'm going to put square feet on the bottom. And the problem asked me for square inches, so I'm going to put that on the top. And the reason why is so that uh, square feet will cancel out. So I look at this and I go, okay, 1 square foot is 144 square inches. So 1 goes next to the square feet and 144 goes next to the square inches. So all I have to do then is go for my answer, I just have to go uh, 10 times 144. So I get 1440 and my feet squared canceled out so it's a 1440 square inches. So that's it, a pretty easy conversion problem.